Again, you could use O as well to do that. O works just as well. As a habit, I use control tentative because I am guaranteed uh, that that will work. And that kind of lingers back to V8I. That worked in V8I. And so that's typically what I use rather than O. But O works fine as long as home or AccuDraw has focus, the O will work. I want to show you now how to, to lock and unlock the distance angle X and Y. So for this example, I'm going to do a smart line from here, and I want that to be my distance, whatever that distance is. So I do a D for distance. Something very interesting happened. Let me, what I want, I'm going to drag this up for just a moment just so you can see it. All right, so notice I'm currently in the XY mode, but when I type D, well, I have to be in polar mode for D. But D takes care of that. I do a D, it switches to polar mode and locks my distance all with one press of the D. I can now tab over and say I want that angle to be 30. I mean, I don't know, I got stuck on the angle 30, but you can make it any angle you want. If you want to make it 22.5, that's fine. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so, but in order to be just like the one over there, I'll, I'll go ahead and do E here, E, and then lock the angle. And I'm going to have a copy. You can do locking and unlocking with any of the letters X, Y, D, A, or if you're in 3D, you could also do Z. So let's suppose I wanted to lock the X from here. So I have, now I've got the X from there, and I can say, hey, let's come up and lock the Y from there. So it's taking my X value from here and my Y value from there. If I wanted to unlock X, you simply press X again. Now I've unlocked X, and I'm just only locked to the Y. Or pressing Y again would unlock the Y. I could also say I want to lock the angle. So I could come to here, lock the angle, locks my angle, and now I'm drawing a line that would go through this, and I could tab over and say, well, I want that to be 100 in that direction. So this is pointing at that by locking the angle. And again, X or Y, D or A, if I'm in polar mode, if I lock the X, it's gonna switch this back to the rectangular mode. So quite handy. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.